The YouTube purge. Uh, it's something that a lot of people have been talking about. A lot of rumors circulating. There's a lot of information out there. Some of it true, some of it untrue. Uh, gosh, I wish I were aging into a, a silver fox, but instead I just look like a hobo getting the gray here in my beard. I apologize. No Anderson Cooper situation for me. I, I'm, I'm no Gregory Peck. Um, this is a tough subject to, to, to get into because there's a lot that we don't know. Um, and I, I can't get into all of the details that we believe to be true, but haven't necessarily verified because I don't want to mislead you with wrong information. I don't want to scare you with false information, and I don't want to give you false confidence with wrong information. So let me explain to you what it is that, um, that we do know, okay, that we don't know, and what precautionary measures we are taking to uh, protect and inform our channel, and more importantly, the conservative community on YouTube at large, or really the YouTube community at large, because as we saw from the recent controversy, it didn't, uh, it wasn't relegated to only the conservative community. Okay, um, the YouTube purge is happening. Let me say that. This is something a lot of people have talked about for a while, December 10th, December 11th, some new policies coming down the pike. Um, a lot of people have been concerned ourselves included, it is happening. What we do know, um, the severity of it is, I believe, more significant than most people have been led to believe. Uh, I believe that many of you will be affected by it, okay? We do know that this YouTube purge, this new policy, new community guidelines, you know, YouTube's been talking about these new anti-harassment, these new guidelines for several months now. Um, Specific, specifically, YouTube. Uh, sorry, YouTube CEO Susan Wojcicki did mention that these will be occurring in response to the controversy that was generated by this channel um, over the summer. And uh, certainly not sorry for the content that we've created and that you've come to enjoy. Um, I don't apologize for that, but uh, obviously, my heart goes out to if there are any future uh, conservatives or, or future independent voices who are affected because some people got their feelings hurt. Um, so we do know that this is why the policies have been created. We do know that you will only know the full extent of the policies once they are made public. Susan Wojcicki put this out in an email, uh, I believe two weeks ago. I think I have this on my computer here. Um, yes, you will only find out all the details after the policy is in effect. So kind of like we need to sign the bill to know what's in the bill. You know, if you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor, that whole business. Um, we don't know exactly what the new policies are or how they will be enforced. And like I said, as more information is revealed to me, um, I'm going to try and keep you guys in the loop as best as possible. Uh, by January, you guys will have the whole story. I'll tell you that. Uh, right now, I, I, I want to be prudent and I want to be wise in whatever I deliver uh, to you because this is a big deal. This is a big deal, and, and it'll affect a lot of you. It'll certainly affect our channel. I don't know how long we're going to be here. I've talked about this, and that's why I do want to thank you guys so much. Everyone who's joined the Mug Club uh, and supported us, I really do appreciate it. There's no way we could have survived any of this or survive what is coming down the pike without you guys joining at Mug Club. There was no video yesterday because we were kind of in a, in, in a tailspin trying to deal with some of the new information regarding the YouTube purge, and we were taping and changed my mind. But there was a full show that went up at Mug Club. There is a full show today that goes up at loudofcredit.com slash Mug Club that you guys don't get on YouTube. There's a lot more uh, content there. Um, the biggest concern to me, and I'm not entirely sure about this, but I'm pretty confident, is that the new policy, which we will only know once it is in effect, could apply retroactively. Now, what does that mean? And I, I can't say this with 100% certainty, when I get more answers, I'll, I'll let you know. What that means is that you could have uploaded a video in 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, and been in compliance and it not being in a violation of community guidelines at all. Um, and by the way, there's a big difference between being in violation of community guidelines or the rules or being um, advertiser friendly. And that's another thing that I can't verify, but we suspect with this policy, they've tried to keep those two things separate. Well, you didn't violate any guidelines, but it's not advertising uh, advertiser friendly. I believe that the two are going to be more interchangeable as YouTube moves forward. Can't say for sure, but that is what I believe. Uh, as far as I understand it, 
These may apply retroactively. So you could have uploaded content that's fine, that was not in violation, been in compliance 2013, 2014, 2015. And now after the new policies are in effect, if those videos which were in compliance when they were originally created and uploaded violate the new policy or guidelines, it could put your whole channel in jeopardy. Which is a really scary thing because we don't necessarily know what these policies are. Um, that could mean that you have videos that you've been doing for a long time. You could have a series that you've been doing for a long time without having a problem. And now, all of a sudden, it's retroactively a violation of guidelines and each one could count as a strike and your channel could be removed. Not saying that's exactly what will happen, but my understanding based on the information, which I do believe is uh, correct, it seems that that's a distinct possibility. That's really worrisome. So, uh, precautions that we've taken. Rather than risk the whole channel here being removed in silence based on some policy that we don't understand yet, um, we have, as we, we've done after the controversy in the summer, selected some older videos uh, from the channel and made them private and made them available exclusively at Mug Club, livewithcredit.com slash Mug Club, um, as a precautionary measure because the number one priority right now is to make sure that our channel is still here and that we can communicate with you as more information is, is, is coming out. And of course, please do, if you haven't joined Mug Club yet, we obviously appreciate the support and would encourage you to join because it's the one place where you know we can we will never lose touch with you. So let me be clear about something. Um, this is not finite. I am removing these videos right now under protest in response to YouTube's choice to apparently keep moving the goalposts and continue uh, their continuation to narrow content that can go on its platform. Rather than err on the side of openness, they are choosing a different path and they will continue to do so until they hear from you. So in the meantime, our, our goal is to keep as much content as accessible as possible, find out the rules and, and listen, find out what the rules are and learn to play by them. Or you know what? If we don't like the rules, then don't. Then we won't. And we'll take our ball and go home and go to Mug Club. That's always been an option. That's why we created it. We don't know what the rules are yet. So um, what does that mean for you? Uh, I, I would encourage you all to right now uh, place a premium on making sure that you are protecting yourselves and that you are still open for business and available to the public so that people can reach you. Because it's a scary thing if a bunch of you, I have no idea, but if a bunch of you have that valve shut off overnight, it'll be really hard for the audience that you've built up and the people who come to know and depend on your content to be able to stay in touch with you. Um, that's an important thing. That's an important thing. So um, what other advice would I give to you guys? Well, listen, we're going to give you more. Sorry, I know I'm just kind of talking about this right now. We've removed, I think, 12 videos. You can run a search. They'll be available at Mug Club so you can go see what they are. Um, this isn't necessarily permanent. It's a precautionary measure. I will say this. For everyone else out there, uh, as more information unfolds, we'll try and keep you posted. Come January, there'll be a lot more information. What can you do right now? Uh, a couple of things. First off, we are trying to aggregate as much information as possible. So if anyone knows anything out there, if you have a more clear understanding of the policies or if you have an inside uh, inside skinny, an inside lane, see? Um, comment below, send your emails to tips at ladderwithcrowder.com. Right now we wanna aggregate as much information as possible, verify the authenticity, and then disseminate it as effectively as possible to everyone out here. So any information that you have that, think, that you think could be helpful, comment, tweet me, and do send private messages if you're concerned for the, the safety of your content or your channel. Uh, for everyone else out there, um, gird your loins, keep your head on a swivel, be smart, and fill your hands, you son of a bitch. Because depending on what comes down, depending on what we see coming over that mountainside, it may be the hill you die on, it may be the hill we die on. We don't know. But in the words of Andrew Breitbart, there's always a possibility, war.